I'm Amy, I'm living in Chrysalis, and I'm doing a full color face of Believe Cosmetics from Dollar General. Let's get to it. Welcome or welcome back. I'm always happy to see you, and I'm kind of excited today because I, while I have done a previous video with a few Believe products, I only had a few. So I am gonna go ahead and do a full color face. If you haven't already, you know you're slacking and you know what to do to fix it. Like, subscribe, comment, share, all that good stuff. So I can hopefully get monetized someday and be able to buy more stuff for the channel. Like better lighting. I gotta get to work, so let's get right into it. I'm going to go ahead and start with the blush. I picked up the shade Wink, which is kind of a hot pink. It's not as hot pink as my sweater, but I think it'll work. So I'm going to try to open this thing. The kind of annoying thing about this is you can't depot them because they're just poured in. So if you don't like the packaging, then yeah, you're kind of stuck with it. But it's okay it's it's not as super elegant as some youtubers would make you think but I'd say overall it's not completely embarrassing now I did stick with my Maybelline color tattoo for contour because while I did buy the bronzer I don't feel that it is a contour friendly shade who knows, maybe I'll change my mind, but that's where it is for now. Now this highlighter we have seen before. This is in the shade Pop of Pink, and it's a very, very, very pale pink, which I love. As a pale girl, it can be really hard. Okay, so I just, I hit that spot a little hard. I'm so used to having to just really slam on slam it on that sometimes I kind of forget I need to take it easy in a couple of spots. I've got a little bit of texture here and here so I don't know if you can see that or not. See what I mean about better lighting? Come on, hook a girl up, help me get monetized. I'm too bashful to do Patreon or anything like that yet. The bronzer in the shade Hawaiian Glow. I've never been to Hawaii. I've been to Fiji, but I've never been to Hawaii. Actually, there's kind of a funny story about that. My sister was getting married, and when it came time for her wedding, she was she was going to do the destination wedding in Hawaii because her husband, well, now husband, was at the time was stationed in Japan, so they were going to meet in the middle in Hawaii and get it done. Well, um, I was actually on my way back from my study abroad in New Zealand and at that time I you know I had one of those big Qantas tickets with you know all kinds of things so I'm actually in Auckland <laughs> the day the day I'm supposed to leave because I had been trying for weeks over the phone and getting absolutely nowhere and I'm sitting at, at the desk, and the lady's like, I can't get you to Honolulu. Your ticket won't let me. I could get you to Fiji, but I can't get you to Honolulu. So, of course, I do Fiji. Go on. <laughs> so I wind up in Fiji. You <laughs> call my family. I'm like, yeah, I'm going to be a few more days. <laughs> I'll see you later. Lips. Let's give me some lips. I picked up. This lipstick. I'm trying to find the, the shade name. It's a hot pink. Okay, that's a shadow. And... I'll have to insert it. <sighs> okay, well. As y'all know, lip good lipsticks are not my favorite, but I took one for the team. 
because I really wanted to do a full face. And I don't feel like I have this particular shade pink of my zillion lipsticks. I just redid my storage and wow. Okay. Ooh, yeah, that is, that is bright. <laughs> I'm not sure what to think about that. Head into the bra. Because again, women's clothes are stupid. <laughs> and my little color, so let's settle that down. Go ahead and go back into my eyeshadow. I did do a video with this, I believe, and this one is called Into the Blue. The other the others looked pretty too, but for the most part they looked like shades I already have, so. I thought this one was the most special of the bunch. There is a setting shade. So I'm gonna go ahead and go into that. Oh, whoops, forgot to put primer on. Oh well, I've got, to, I've got foundation on anyway. I did not buy the Believe foundation this time. I'm, uh, uh, I'll probably do that another time, but just, you know, I get nervous when I start when my cart starts getting a little too full, I'm like, uh, okay, let me take a thing or two out of here. Okay. I don't think I'm going to go for the blue this time. It's pretty, but I'm wearing a pink sweater, so I think I'm going to go a little more subtle this time. I know, right? Like, that's a possibility for me. I'm going to use this shade as my faux crease shade. It's kind of a weird thing. I'm not entirely sure what to call it. It doesn't have a name, but it does have a slightly pinkish, pinky purpley shift. So I thought that would be good for bringing the look with the sweater together. But I gotta get moving. Like I'm doing half a day, well not even half a day, I'm doing the first three hours of today is a TA, and then I'm doing the next three hours as a teacher. But these are both for elementary, so, you know, that's going to wear me out. Ah, and that noise is my son getting ready for school. I actually got to get up a little bit later today. I had the luxury of sleeping in until 7.15, ooh, because I'm not due till 8.20 instead of 7.45. Uh, Y'all know sometimes an extra half an hour can just make all the difference in the world. Sort of blue gray bit of awesomeness here. Ooh, just gonna kind of feather that inward. Ooh, that's kind of nice and dark. Oh, oh, there's a hole. That's. I was get a hole there. It's my own fault, but that is user error. But I still like this brush because it gives a nice sharp line going inward. <laughs> okay, let's feather, feather, feather it inward. Remember when everybody used to feather their hair out? Pepperidge Farm remembers. Okay, I think that's pretty good. I think that's about where we're gonna be. Very pale blue-gray on the inner lid. Just to blend up into the weird shade. Okay, I hit that a little hard. Let's, uh, let's hit the blender. Ooh, okay, I wound up getting in there, but that's okay, I haven't done my concealer yet, so I can fix that. Oh. Right, let me get this a little further in. Take 
this very pale silver blue shade and hit up here. Carve out an eyebrow. Oop. And I'll also hit the center of my lid. Okay, let's blend that. Let's blend it all. Ah, it's eight o'clock. It's a tape for eyeliner instead of the Urban Decay pencil I'm trying to use up. I'm going to go ahead and go into this Believe eyeshadow in the shade innocence it is a deep 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 purple which i adore okay where's my hand mirror okay where is it ah there it is my friend gina gave me this adorable little hand mirror so i'm gonna go ahead and oh actually i know what i can do to help it along I'm going to use my Believe. Oh, okay, that was a little wider than I wanted, but it's the, um, it's their setting spray. So I'm using that to wet my brush. There we go. Now we're talking. Uh, I over wet my brush and over dug in my <sighs> over dug in my uh, eyeshadow. Here we go. But I have tried this as an eyeliner before, and this color is freaking beautiful. Although I'm not, I think I may have worn it over my pencil before. This time I'm just gonna do it on its own. See how we go been a while since I've done that video. It's hard to remember what I did. I didn't have time to go back and re-watch it. So if you want to go and re-watch it and then correct me, that'd be awesome. Watch ours, please. Hook a girl up. Ugh, come on. Much harder to do it on this side. Oop. And there go a couple chunks because I overdug. Maybe I need to wet my brush a little more. Okay, <laughs> let's try this again. I always pick the day that I'm. All right, it's the best time to film this in the morning because I don't have to keep playing video games. I usually don't have the husband knocking around doing a bunch of crap. Oh, my look is very shimmery today. Well, you all know how I feel about that, right? I don't care. Because if I'm wearing any shimmer at all, it's going to go everywhere. Which is good to know for job interview looks. Okay, because... I know, I absolutely know now to, if I need to be extra conservative, just don't do any shimmers at all. I would, I would do all matte for something like that because it just, you know, it's just the, the way I'm built. The hooded eye life chose me. that in there. Oh, sorry. I did not mean to obstruct. And I don't want quite such a severe line today. 
the look is done. I've got to go do my hair, but I don't have time to do it before this, so. There we are. I gotta go, but do let me know what you think below. And of course, if you haven't already, subscribe. Please subscribe. Thank you so much, and I'll see you soon.